I'm really here just to confront the media and you know, point out that uh, people in America are supposed to face their accusers. Even during the McCarthy era hearings, people that were being demonized were brought into the hearings so they could face their accusers. But the new authoritarian America with a dying corporate press is actually the assassins of truth and Bill of Rights. It's, it's, what, do you, what do you think they're going to say in this hearing, Jack Dorsey and Charles Hammer? Well, the members of the Senate will sit there and the members of the House who had two committee hearings there, they'll just repeat lies and then the CEOs will sit there and nod their heads. So it's all just a big show. One of the things that we've heard is that there will be some uh, focus on raw questions. Social media giants Facebook and Twitter are going to be some popular day. Anyways. Why is it important for you to be here today? Because in America, you have a right to face your accusers, and they never have me in these committees when they lie about me. And the CEOs on one side lie, and then the people in the Senate and the House lie, and they, 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 they defame me. Hey, Jack, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. In what way have they defamed you? I'm here to face my accusers, even though I'm not going to be asked any questions by the committee. They've had more than 10 hearings the last year and a half. Sir, they lie about me. Sure, I'll go over here. Sure. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, can we get in there? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, first, I'm stop. We're doing fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do over here. We'll do Get him here, and that was a good exclusive yeah. effort. Yeah, how you doing, Jay? So you were saying that you felt like you were... When they had the McCarthy hearings back in the 50s, people accused of being Russian agents had a chance to be heard by the committee. But in the new America, where the mainstream media is the assassin uh, exactly of the press, and in the new America, you don't get to face your accusers. These committees in the House and the Senate sit there, or the 10 meetings I've watched the last year and a half, and lie about me and say things I never said and never did. And then I have no chance to ever respond. So now every time they have one of these hearings lying about me, lying about InfoWars, I'm going to come and I'm going to have press conferences in D.C. every single time. Because America is still a free country, and we still have a right to face our accusers. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm going to continue to expose the lies. I have zero connection to Russia. I'm an American patriot. Everyone knows it. And this whole Russia Gate thing is about delegitimizing the election that the American people had in 2016. And it's a fraud, and as the president says, it is a witch hunt. But it's beyond a witch hunt. They have used the lies in these committee hearing meetings in the House and Senate to deplatform me and unperson me off of the internet so that I can't respond to the future lies and the straw men that they built. This is a danger to this country. In what free nation do they have hearings at the national level and talk about someone like Alex Jones or truly for hours and then never have a chance to then be heard by the committee? What country have we turned into where the New York Times, the Washington Post, and CNN openly lobby to take me off every platform and openly lobby that anyone that talks about Alex Jones in a positive way will then also be blacklisted off the internet. Google and Apple are officially moving to China. They are adopting Chinese communist style tactics. They are helping censor and round up the political dissidents, the Buddhists and the Christians and others who are then taken and worked to death and their organs harvested. Just in 2006, 2010, they had committee hearings in this very Senate Committee on Intelligence and told Google, you are now evil. You are aiding and abetting evil. Look at the congressional record. Ten years later, there's zero discussion of Apple and Google and others moving to China. Apple has moved the iCloud to China and has given the government the code keys to everyone's Apple device. A total national security violation of the highest levels ever seen. It's well known that Hillary transferred the Office of Personnel Management files of 21 million U.S. government individuals and their families to the Communist Chinese. And that's why Trump's enemy number one. Because there's a globalist sellout of our country to Communist China and espionage carried out by the Democratic Party and many members of the Republican Party as well. That's why I've been targeted. So I can't have a press conference. As you can see in America, cannot face my accusers. That's how it works in this country. There you go, that'll be your newscast. Right here. Right here. Now, Texas, these hearings are about me. They, they're, they're saying I'm a goddamn Russian. Back out, please. Back out, please.
Back out, Alex, we're right back. We want to do an interview. Excuse me. Is it Paul for media? Well, you guys just got your news. Um, do you have any response to the fact that Twitter says that you specifically violated their terms of service? Well, you know, when Peter Fonda said that he wanted to kidnap the president's son and put him in a cage with pedophiles to rape him, uh, that violated their terms of service as well. They're all very subjective. They could say and do whatever they want. The media ran a hoax and said that I said things on Twitter I didn't say. And so again, uh, they can say all day I violated their terms. Jack Dorsey didn't take me off Twitter. And you, the so-called media, has been foaming at the mouth to get me further deplatformed so I can't respond to the lies. Think about this in America. Think about this in America, that I have been unable, this is the 11th hearing that they've had in the last year and a half where I'm one of the main focuses and I have not ever been called to testify when they say outrageous, slanderous, defamatory things when they've had in the House Intelligence Committee, Senate Intelligence Committee, and others, they'll have people point blank uh, from the CIA, you name it, who are leftists, say Alex Jones works for the Russians. That is an outrageous lie beyond Joseph McCarthy, anything he ever did. But when McCarthy did it, he, the people got to come in and got to confront the committee and say, you have no decency, how dare you act like this. This is a hundred times worse than anything Joseph McCarthy ever did, and it's a shame. So, Mr. Jones, today's, this morning's hearing is specifically about um, preventing election manipulation. This afternoon's hearing is... Sure, 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 yeah, yeah, but every time they have these meetings, it, they bring up InfoWars, they claim they're taking InfoWars down to stop election meddling. Obama established with an executive order. He established with an executive order before he left office a, a special office that deals with foreign propaganda. What it's really been used is to target domestic populist popular groups. It, the real election meddling is by Facebook and Google and others that are shadow banning people, that are outright banning people, and that are blocking conservatives involved in their own First Amendment political speech. There is a giant crackdown that even the New York Times calls it a crackdown on conservatives and a plan to deplatform conservatives from the, from the internet and communicating with each other, just like communist China. This is dangerous authoritarianism, and they've packaged silencing Americans who are popular and well-spoken, as Tucker Carlson said about me on Fox News, not because what I say is bad, but because what I say is effective and true and popular. So they build straw men and misrepresent what I've said and do, and then they use that straw man to try to kick me off of the air. This is so dangerous to now have the New York Times foaming at the mouth calling for me to be taken off the internet completely and anyone who supports me being taken off. My God, this is true authoritarianism. Come to America, and you've got a bunch of dying corporate mainstream media that doesn't know what to do. And because they don't have any viewers or listeners, people that support them anymore, they think silencing independent media and silencing newswars.com and silencing infowars.com and somehow let them get control of the narrative and stop the giant political realignment that's happened in this country towards populism and free market and a 4.6% growth rate. That's what they want. Alex, That's what's going on here. Can you tell us why you're I think you're here with Jack Posobiec from One American News. Can you tell us this why you're This guy, Patriot, Naval Intelligence, whole nine yards. Tell, Mr. Jones, tell us what's really happening here. Alex, what we've seen and what we're starting to see in a lot of this is a lot of censorship, primarily of conservative voices and independent voices. You know, one thing that a lot of people have said about you is uh, they talk about violence and inciting violence, but you know, from what I've been able to see from InfoWars, you've got a very strong anti-war perspective. Well, how would you comment on that? Well, that's right. We had New York Times reporters lie about WMDs in Iraq uh, consciously, Judith Miller, and that got over a million Iraqis killed and tens of thousands of our troops. And then I had the New York Times asking me about inciting violence. This is, this is what they do. Adjourn the hearing. The nomination process was compromised. Well, well this is the, 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 this is the Supreme matter. Court. You're talking about the media, right? You're talking about the media. Brett Kavanaugh does not believe in freedom of the press. He does not uphold the First Amendment right to protest and freedom of speech. Can I ask you this question? What do you think about the left openly pushing to have conservatives deplatformed and taken off the internet? 
I don't think that's the issue that we need to care about the most. What we need to protect right now is rule of law, democracy, the political process. Okay, so so conservatives, transparency. conservatives don't have any free speech. No. Alex, what did the reports say? Jack Dorsey actually intervened to keep you on Twitter yourself. Right now, Alex, what did the reports say? Jack Dorsey intervened to some of his colleagues. Jack Dorsey. I want to keep him on the platform. Had your response. Let's be clear. Jack Dorsey and executives at Twitter denied that to USA Today. So, I, I mean, I think that's more fake news. Uh, but Jack Dorsey's uh, made it no... He interfered to help you in any way. Well, he, he's denied that. So, I just, I mean, I, I mean, you asked the question. I don't know. All I know is this. Simultaneously, four major tech giants in 24 hours admitted they colluded, violating Sherman Antitrust Act 2, bare minimum, to deplatform me for more than 20 million subscribers total. People that chose to go click and link and listen to what I was saying and what I was doing. They told 20 million subscribers, you can't go listen to Alex Jones anymore. How an American is that? And then Jack Dorsey, who admits he's a liberal, and they let the leftists on their call for killing everybody, all sorts of violence, he said, look, okay, you could technically say Jones might have violated a rule here or there, but compared to the left and all the incredible violence they're calling for, there is no comparison. So the media's had to cherry pick things that I say on air. Like Chuck Todd this weekend said, the Democrats and Republicans are coming together in a call to arms against President uh, Trump. And, the, and some conservatives said, oh, they're calling for violence. No, they're not. It's a figure of speech, okay? So when I say we're in an information war and we're going to go over the top and we're in the trenches, those are all metaphors. Everybody knows what they mean, but the media won't show the video clips. They take words I said, like word salad, and put them together. And then I open up the newspaper, and it sounds like I'm saying the most outrageous stuff ever, which I won't even repeat here as a false quote because the media will run with it. So, what, sir, what can you tell us do? why you're here today? What is the way forward? What is, it, is it more regulation? <coughs> is it more laws? Is it other companies? What do you see as a way to break free of this situation? That's a really great question. From my research in top law firms here in D.C. and in New York and L.A., we have looking at this, and we have been getting information from the president, uh, briefs on this. And, and I, I told people a month ago he was going to take action. He started doing that. They're looking at Sherman Antitrust Act 2, uh, illegal collusion, uh, violation of campaign finance law, uh, in-kind donations by, the, by these big tech giants, blocking all conservatives, blocking members of Congress, shadow banning. That's billions of dollars basically in gifts to the Democrats by, by, by blocking their competition uh, from the free marketplace of ideas. <clears throat> so the president needs to move forward with a push for a blue ribbon commission on defense of the First Amendment. He needs to move now with executive orders. Uh, exposing that this is a new form of campaign finance uh, violation and in-kind gifts to the Democrats by big tech. Uh, he needs to continue uh, to expose what these companies are doing. He needs to send in uh, federal regulators uh, from the Federal Trade Commission because these companies are colluding together in fraud to suppress the marketplace. He, he needs to expand his move against Facebook for violation of the Unfair uh, Housing Act where they track your sexual preference, your medical issues, how old you are, where you come from to decide what to charge you. Everybody deserves to be you know, charged uh, the, you know, the same price with open market stuff, not being tracked with secret data. So what these big tech giants have done is gotten away with murder, violating our rights, working with communist China, suppressing populations, and just doing incredibly evil things, but because they all pose as liberal trendies and wear, you know, funny socks, it's all supposedly <laughs> cute. It's not. President Trump is and needs to move aggressively with only 61 days left till this critical historical election with worldwide implications of nationalism versus globalism and needs to stop the election meddling by big tech and the Democratic Party who are openly trying to steal this election at a million times what a few Russian bots could ever try to do. The truth is Facebook and Google are giant Democrat Party bots. We have the WikiLeaks from Schmidt, the head of Alphabet and Google, saying we are 100% Democrat, we are going to block everybody, and we're going to deliver Hillary into the White House just like we did Obama. But then when they failed, they got mad, and they said, this time we will deliver you the victory. So this is big tech, allied with communist China and authoritarians, lined up against the American people, and an American president trying to kill our recovery, trying to kill our populist movement, and that's why you've got desperate leftists and major newspapers openly calling for all of their competition to be shut down. This is outrageously villainous. Who would have imagined 10 years ago that you'd ever see mainstream media doing something like this, saying shut down, not just Alex Jones, as Senator Murphy said a month ago in a tweet, he's only the tip of the iceberg. He said shut them all down. And then Senator Wyden said, Alex Jones isn't the worst, because he's God, you know. And he said a bunch of stuff I didn't say. He goes, Alex Jones isn't the worst. There's thousands of others that need to be shut down, deplatformed, disappeared, and the so-called press that went to journalism school is foaming at the mouth like mad Cujo dogs with rabies to tear the First Amendment apart? Remember this. 
you killed your profession by becoming nothing but mercenaries for the globalist, and people know that you're fake news, many of you. Now, with you trying to kill the First Amendment, you're making yourself true villains. CNN is not just fake news. It's the criminal news network that works as a racketeering crime syndicate to openly shut down my media operations and other people's media operations. They have sent the New York Times and Washington Post for six months to stalk me where I live and to offer people money to lie about me, and they can't even find people to do it. This is a criminal mafia that thinks they own this country. And the Judgment Day politically is here, and the attempts to intimidate the American people, and the attempts to silence us, and the attempts to bully me and others into submission to this globalist system are not going to work. The answer, because I'm a libertarian, and, and I don't believe in a lot of regulation, but, but, but by the government leaving a vacuum, the communist Chinese, the EU with its big billion dollar fines, the Democratic Party, Senator Warner, who's been quarterbacking this, came five weeks ago to big tech, this is in the news, and they said, if you don't ban all these conservatives and give us the election for the Democrats, we're going to bust you up and we're, gonna, we're going to make you federal with real antitrust because you're already a trust. And so they said, okay, we'll ban then all the conservatives. Who do we start with? Start with Jones. He's a good straw man. We've demonized him. You know, we built this. Yeah, it's, it's our understanding and so that that's what they did. Think about Washington that, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, Think about how they do this over and over and over again. Senator, Senator Warner to told to to Big Tech, shut down the conservatives. Senator Warner told them, shut down the conservatives five weeks ago, and that's why they're doing this to steal the election. Very Jeff much highlighting Dorsey the fact that uh, uh, Larry Page did that at all change your behavior here. on pretty, pretty Twitter notable. or other social media? It, 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 How did it impact the way really you conduct try yourself to on social media? You're, you're saying change my behavior. I'm asking if it did. Those tweets that the media took out of context did not violate Twitter's terms of service. I, I am super tame compared to the leftists that are on Twitter and the horrible things that they're saying. So, so do you believe that Jack Dorsey did the seven-day ban because he was under massive pressure from stockholders and the media to completely ban me. He did that as a stopgap measure to get the dogs off. What do you say to the people out there who... What should conservative activists or just patriots and pro-free speech people do? Get politically involved, speak out, stand up for the First Amendment, not just of conservatives but of everybody, and build your own media operations and support independent media that tells the truth. That's what needs to be done. Sir, can you tell us why you're here you're not telling me? Do you want to... Yeah. Okay. You guys want to come around this way? Come around. Hey, want to go this way? All right. Tell us why you're here today. Why did you come to Capitol Hill? Oh, what about all the dead Iraqi children uh, that the left and the, and, and the Senate and, and, and people? Well, what about Judith Miller getting a million dead Iraqis? Can you just say sorry as a leftist for supporting the New York Times? Because I've already responded to that. This is about deplatforming and the responded? American people. Can we, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Start fresh for me. Well, I, 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 okay, I'm going to tell you why I'm here. Say sorry to the Sandy Hook parents, I, Alex. I am here. Because there is a concerted effort by the Democratic Party and multinational corporations and big tech to silence conservative and nationalist and populist voices ahead of this critical midterm election. And the big tech companies and, and the head of Apple admit that they met with Senator Warner, who's running this whole thing, to begin shutting down conservatives or the Democrats threatened to federalize big tech if they did not basically roll over to them. So the Republicans left a vacuum there by not coming in with regulations to say you cannot uh, violate people's free speech. So I want regulations like the First Amendment to be enforced to say you're not going to violate people's free speech, you're not going to be able to shut people down like this. And I'm also here to be able to face my accusers. This is the 11th hearing they've had where they make up all these incredible lies about me and others to sell the end of the First Amendment. And so that's why I'm here to expose this, I'm here to speak out about this, and I'm here to discuss the reality that there is an attempted purge of the First Amendment taking place in this country, and, and Apple and Google have already moved to China and are helping round up political dissidents. They've had Senate hearings a decade ago saying that Google is now aiding evil in China and helping round people up, and now Google's officially moving to China to run their whole grid of true authoritarianism. Where it's the New York where? Times that Google's a lot of them. Google's not here. I understand. But, but where they're all, well, well, they all made that that decision together. Facebook, Google, Apple as a consortium made the decision to deplatform me, to lie about me, and to set the precedent to start deplatforming everybody else. And it's, it's happening to everybody now who's a libertarian or conservative. The dominoes are falling. The First Amendment's being destroyed. But I think the corporate dying dinosaur media has bit off more than it can chew. And what you've done is only going to make people be that much stronger and fight for free speech that much more. But I'll say this. Shame on the mainstream corporate media. Shame on the mainstream corporate media 
media for not defending the First Amendment, but instead attack dogging, calling for federal regulators to shut down independent free press working with big tech. These, these big monopolies need to be broken up. And these are digital commons, they've said in their own words, and under federal law, and they shouldn't be in there controlling what individuals are saying in those private discussions and in those discussions online if it's not criminal what's being said and what's being done. They let Antifa and all the Democrats organize crime and murder and criminal activity on Facebook and Twitter. But if somebody like me makes fun of somebody, or, or if I say don't sexualize kids, then they sit there and take that down. And also what the corporate media does, because he brings up Sandy Hook is, they take things I know you, you did. If you want me to answer the question, I will. But you're yeah, just going to keep barking ahead. stuff. Go ahead. Are you sorry? Judith Miller lied about WMDs and over a million Iraqis got killed. But, but everybody says she's a great lady. I sit there because people online questioned Sandy Hook five years ago. I listened to the ideas. And for years I've said I believe it happened. And I've apologized if things I said taken out of context hurt people's feelings. But the corporate media will then never, ever run all the dozens and dozens and dozens of times that I sat there and I said I believe mass shootings happened. And this year the media lied. And I'll offer people a million dollars that can find this. The corporate media lied and CNN called for me to be taken off uh, 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 YouTube and everywhere else saying that I said no one died at Parkland and they were crisis actors. That is not what I said. I said the police stood down. And then people pointed out that out of 3,000 students, the four they used in the media bragged on NBC News that they were in the drama club. And I said they were well-spoken, anti-gun young people. That's why they were chosen. Saying people were in the drama club so they're well-spoken is not saying they're crisis actors and nobody died. And the corporate media then rebooted that because that's what they do, like babies in incubators, which didn't die. And they had they had hearings in here in 1991, 1990, claiming that Saddam's people in, in Kuwait took little babies out and bashed their brains out. And that's how they started the invasion that later killed millions so, and millions so, of people. So, 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 so hold on, hold on. If this Senate has had hearings in this building and in other buildings lying and saying, lying and saying that, that Saddam Hussein bashed babies' brains out to launch a war, people then have a right to question corporate media. And later, if you find out it happens, then you say, okay, you believe it happened. That is what I stand on. That's the so facts. So, what regulation, though, are you calling for government to regulate media? Let me explain what I'm saying. You can have a law like the law currently is, saying these are digital commons, so Google and Facebook and all these groups don't have liabilities with what a third party says or does on their little message board or their page or their video post, as long as it's not illegal. So they get these liability protections by saying that they're not the publishers, you understand? And so now they're coming in saying, no, we'll choose what to be on and clearly discriminating against conservatives. So I'm saying we need executive order, we need hearings, enforcing the law that you can't go in there and then act as, quote, publishers, but also have the liability protection that these monopolies have. And I want Sherman Antitrust Act II enforced, and I want the Fair Housing Trade Act enforced. Who do you think had the top lawyers write up the reports and get them to the president? Think the Easter Bunny did that? Because while you guys sit there and put up one image of Alex Jones, there's a completely real Alex Jones behind the scenes. And that's why Soros and the globalists are scared. I, what I do behind the scenes is far more effective than what I do on the air. I've learned half the time you can't even get through to the public. But you know what? I can sure get through to the policymakers and people with reports from top law firms. So you wait in the next few weeks with what you're about to see with executive orders. I told you this stuff was coming with Facebook. You watch what happens. It'll be more important what happens in this meeting. This is going to be a political meeting in here where, where, where the Democrat senators are going to say horrible things about me and horrible things about Trump, and then the executives will agree with them like it's true. So, so it should that's be illegal to ban you from Twitter. That's what you want? It should be illegal No, that's to not what I'm saying. They have to follow the law. You understand the law? They can't sit there and arbitrarily enforce when they say under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and other sections that they're operating under that they can't use these... This, 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 their own discrimination against people and ban them as a group, especially when the Democrats, you can't have it both ways, are everywhere saying deplatform conservatives, deplatform Christians, deplatform Trump supporters. They're everywhere saying remove us because of who we are political. So just like we have laws protecting people because of their race or their sexual issues, we need to then be able to say for your political ideals as well, and you know it's all coming. Because the persecution of libertarians and conservatives and Christians is massive, and there will be political action against it, and you guys attempted bullying and reign of terror against the American people's coming to an end. Just wait, two weeks. Get ready for the executive orders, everything else. Enjoy yourselves. Because they can't stand the fact that they don't want me to face my accusers. But every time they have these committee hearings, I'm going to be here. 
and I'm going to lead marches in Washington because I'm going to tell the truth, and the mainstream media, doesn't matter how you edit this or what you do, everybody's going to end up getting the truth. It's not going to be stopped. We're going to have people going in legally and lawfully into sports stadiums. We're going to have people doing all sorts of stuff. You're not going to stop the message. You have just awakened the sleeping giant. The corporate dinosaur press and the kingpin Carlos Slim and Jeff Bezos and all these other mafia thugs and the Chai Coms running it are about to find out the sleeping giant's awake. So I'm here to face my accuser. I'm here to let them know they're not going to sit there in their committee and lie about me and say, well, Jones is a racist. Why do you let him on air and never show any proof? Or Alex Jones is a Russian agent and never show any proof. I get to face my accusers. When they had the McCarthy hearings, wasn't it in this building? When, when they had the McCarthy hearings with people that were admittedly in the Communist Party, they got to face their accusers. When people were called Russian agents, they got to be in here. Even with people that were from Russia and people that had backgrounds connected to the Russians, they got to face their accusers. My family's been here since before 1776, freaking founded Texas. And these traitorous globalists sit in here and tell me that I'm a Russian agent? They are the criminals. So, listen, Bill Clinton, Hillary, Uranium One, all of it, it's coming out. Mueller delivering uranium on the tarmac. Uh, all, Jerry Epstein covering up the Lita Express with video cameras on the airplanes to, to frame people. Mueller. He's a monster. These people are monster criminals. Wait, just wait, just, like, just like I said, oh. just like I said, the Catholic Church is coming down for the pedophile stuff. You watch. Half this government is run off pedophilia, and everybody knows it. And the media can't cover it up anymore. So good luck. Wait, just to be clear, America's calling, waking up. You're calling for the federal government. You're calling for the federal government. The moderating of all the. <laughs> no, you're not listening. Um, the Alex law. Still here. The law says they're third party systems, okay? There is a law saying that they have to either be a publisher in a newspaper and be liable for what's on the platform, or they have to be a third party commons and a telecommunications system, like two people on a phone line. The phone company's not responsible for what you say over a phone line. So it's called the law. And I said the press is there to, to, to murder the truth and confuse listeners and viewers, but I'm saying enforce the law. Jack was so good. You're uh, smart on this tell folks. So what Alex is saying is you want them to be able to enforce common carrier laws as well as different regulations regarding communication section 230, which has been set up as a way to kind of provide uh, sort of immunity for content that has on them as opposed to actual platforms. Actually, Cassandra, do you want to mention that about section 230? Yeah, come on over here. Come yeah, on. section 230, which they've been abusing to shut down all conservatives, and you've also got the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, Safe Harbor, those are laws. You know, the way Google and the way Facebook... So you want to apply those to... The I want to apply... You understand, you can have a law like the First Amendment that says we have a right to peaceably assemble, we have a right to speech, we have a right to religion, government can't make any regulations thereof. See, it's a, it's a positive law pointing out freedoms we already have that are inalienable. You understand? So that's, that's the Bill of Rights, that's the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or the freedom of the press, the right to assemble, or take the government for redress and grievances. That's the First Amendment that you guys and journalists are supposed to know about. So it's saying you can't sit there and take somebody's free speech away extrajudicially. Okay? That's what they're doing. Are you are you asking the, the these um, social media platforms to be treated more like to be regulated more like a public utility? Or they say they're a public utility. Okay. That's what they do. Thank you. Oh, guys, they are public utilities. That's in federal law. The, the, the tech giants have argued their utilities. They've argued that your speech isn't their concern as long as it's not criminal. If you can't call the cops on somebody for what they're saying, you can't take it down. Someone can sue you for that through the legal system. That's called checks and balances. If not, you end up in Nazi Germany or Communist China, which Google and Apple have moved to and are helping suppress their people. They had Senate Intelligence Committee hearings in 2006 and 10, where they said Google is now aiding and abetting evil in China. Google is now authoritarian. You need to stop. I know Google's not here today, but Facebook's moving in. Uh, 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 all of these companies are moving into China, and they're all colluding together. And that's the point. So how are you going to confront them on a daily basis? I, I, I caught bits and pieces, but I wanted you to explain. Every time they have one of these hearings, I sat back and watched the last 10, where they lie about me and they lie about the First Amendment and they misrepresent what I've said. I'm going to come to D.C. and I'm going to have press conferences and I'm going to start having marches and I'm going to start doing a lot more because I'm going to face my accuser whether they want me out there or not. 
I am going to confront the lying corporate spineless media that is now an assassin of truth, that now works with big corporations to try to silence independent real media, talk radio, you name it. The corporate media is dying because people know they lie. They know they edit. They know they twist. And so the corporate media is in a perfect storm with the collapsing Democratic Party and the collapsing Republican blue blood neocon establishment to circle the wagons and use governmental power claiming that the election was stolen by Russians and that everybody that wants freedom or low taxes is a Russian agent. They have said in committee hearings in the House Intelligence Committee, and Armed Services Committee and others that quote, Alex Jones is run by the Russians. That is like saying I'm run by Martians. It is an absolute, total, ridiculous fraud. It's, it's unbelievable. And now they've used that to try to go after my credit card processors, to try to take my websites down. I mean, they are viciously trying to shut me down. It's being run out of an office inside the CIA with that whole act that Obama signed in the Defense Authorization Act of 2017, the Countering Foreign Disinformation Propaganda Act. They've got billions of dollars that they're paying to corporate media to put these lies out. Yes, he was. He signed the executive order. Barack Obama was president in 2017. You better believe it. Trump came in on the 20th of January. God, you liberals are dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable, brother. You're dumber than a damn box of rocks, son. What, what kind of Listen, I'm going to tell you when it, I'm tell you how it works, okay? Okay? On, 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 on December 9th, he signed uh, the, the, the defense authorization, and then uh, about two weeks later, early January, he signed another executive order. Go read it. I just gave you the name of it. The Countering Foreign Propaganda Disinformation Act. Just help me out, Alex. It's 2016, though. Okay. No. No. Obama left office in January of two of 2017. In December of 2017. No, 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 no. I'm saying 16. But he also did it in 17. Two acts. Look, Obama signed the orders. Go read the orders. You can deny it all day long. Okay. That's how they play these games. Will Silicon okay. Valley swing the next election? Pardon me? Will Silicon Valley swing the next election? Silicon Valley bragged and said they were going to swing the election for Hillary in internal emails, but the America woke up. Yes, they're doubling down thinking they can crush Americans like they've crushed the poor Chinese and like they've crushed other people, and big tech is working with authoritarians. You are losing your birthright. We are all in serious danger, ladies and gentlemen. What does Twitter say to you? What do you Google? What do, they, what do the executives say to you when you take them on? I mean, do you send letters to them? Do you have your attorney to deal with them? What, what response are you getting on a legal basis as, as to why this is happening? Look, Google has made the decision along with Apple to deplatform everyone and bring in authoritarianism. They've already made the deal and merged with China. Do you understand, folks? China is running the show. They own all six major Hollywood production houses. They own the national debt. They bought off all of our politicians. They were given the Panama Canal. They have 98% of rare earth minerals. You think the Chinese government got 98% of rare earth minerals by accident? Federal regulators preclude U.S. firms from extracting them. We have been handicapped by design by the communist Chinese that murder their political dissidents, that murder Falun Gong, that murder Christians, and murder gays. And people can laugh about it, and the Chinese Chi-Com agents are everywhere in this country. They're running major universities, and we're getting ready to bust it all up. So keep laughing. Alice, You're going to find out, traitors. Alice, when's the last time you spoke with the president? I'm not going to get into that, but what I really do is I have top law firms write him briefings because all the other lawyers are scared to do it because everybody's scared of big tech. But a lot of people are, are wondering about the, the dynamic of your relationship. First, with the president's been on your show. What I have, I have, I have top law firms, top law firms, top, sending briefs. I'm not going to get that. Huh. Just wait. wait. Wait a few more weeks. Okay. And just like I told you was coming with Facebook. Just wait a couple more weeks. Do you have a direct line to the president? I have many ways to get him the information. And then he, he says to his lawyers, "Why? Oh my God! Look at this!" And he has other lawyers look at it. They go, "This is absolutely dead on. This is..." And then you know, it's got the law firm. So, what do you want the president to do? He always talks. I provide. I provide. I provide patriots across the country with research. Other people aren't willing to spend money or spend time. I engage top law firms, three law firms, to write reports to the president. Has the president made any decisions based off policy information you've given him? No. I told you I've had top First Amendment and antitrust. And, 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 and anti-organized crime law firms that recognize that Mueller and the Clintons are an organized crime network and that big tech is an organized crime network allied with the foreign power China and that they're using the Russia canard as the smokescreen for this takeover. The Pentagon, it isn't like I tell Trump anything. He, the Pentagon's telling him this. The patriots in the CIA that aren't leftists are telling him what he gets from the law firms I've sent is already what he's getting from the Pentagon. And he says, is this true? And they go, yes, this is absolutely what's going on. What action do you want him to take today? 
Today, Pardon? what do you want him to take? What do you want him to do? Today? I want the president to move with Sherman Antitrust Act two to enforce the First Amendment and end not just monopoly practices in business by the big tech giants, but their criminal collusion to violate the civil rights of the American people and to violate the unfair uh, housing act, which he's already doing with Facebook, but to move aggressively with federal regulators and the Federal Trade Commission and to move aggressively with a special office that he needs to directly set up in the FBI to move as a clear and present danger against the election meddling of the communist Chinese, the Democratic Party, Hollywood, and the globalists attempting to overthrow this move to restore the republic back to the people. Specifically, what do you want to do? It's a national security issue. The, 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 the Russians are babies compared to the communist Chinese allied with the big banks in Hollywood. And the, 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 the Chinese communist lust for blood uh, over their own people is only surpassed by Hollywood's deep hatred for America, deep hatred of our success. Like Bill Maher said, he hopes we have a depression to teach Trump folks. Again, these people hate America, folks. You've got to understand how much the controlled corporate left hates this country because they've been sucking off of us forever. And so their culture is hating America. Their culture is knowing that America's ethos is superior and it is a, it is a system of hating America by losers and authoritarian trash. And the, the, the authoritarian trash is about to find out that not everybody's scared of them. And I'm taking them on and I'm willing to be demonized and lied about by the corporate media because we're going to take this country back and don't worry, the left wants to arrest everybody without trials. You're going to get to face your accusers. Those of you that have worked for the globalists, those of you that have been paid by foreign powers, you're going to be in front of a jury of your peers for the crimes you've committed. We've got the New York Times taking foreign money. We've got CNN taking it from Gulf dictator states. We've got you. This country has, they've used our open society to bring us down and to bring in all these foreign actors and all these criminal groups to totally sell the nation out. Mainstream media doesn't say a word about China killing 100 million of its own people. They don't say a word about killing Christians or Falun Gong or anybody else, which shows they love to do that here. And the universities are anti-free speech. Uh, the Congress doesn't let you face your accusers. They sit there and lie about you because they're authoritarians and they've made the leap into darkness of authoritarianism. And that's where we are, and that's why I'm here to say, listen, you can edit this and do whatever you want. People on the Internet are going to see this. You can't deplatform me. The New York Times ran a fake story yesterday saying, my traffic has been cut in half. I pulled up Google Analytics that morning, live at a desk in my office, and showed us with almost triple our previous record for the two weeks after, double our previous record, and now we are still above our all-time high uh, level for a baseline. We have record traffic. Our apps on iPhone and on Android went to number one in news right after we got banned from being like number 10. So they delisted them from being number one so people wouldn't see we were number one, but they're still there. And then the mainstream media lobbied for my apps to be taken out of the app store saying it's not enough, we want his apps removed. And now they're lobbying in iTunes because you can still get to the directory on my website. It's on my servers. All iTunes does is put a wall up and then they direct you. They're lobbying to have millions of people's own computers delete Alex Jones on them. These people think they own your computers and my show that's free to air. This is pure authoritarianism. And are we gonna just sit here and put up with this? So it is outrageous. Where will voices like yours, are you advocating they quit Twitter and start their own platforms? Jack Dorsey knows which way is the wind's blowing. He, they've been some of the biggest censors out there at Twitter. And I think when the president pointed out what they were doing was illegal, uh, he, he's kind of left me up there and a few others to like say, oh, look, we're not censoring. And that's kind of the smoke screen uh, for censoring that's going on. I don't think he's the worst. They've had polls uh, that uh, the big tech companies did just last week where over 70% of Apple employees want me completely banned from the Internet, period. Uh, and then only 22% in the same uh, internal survey uh, at uh, Twitter said they want to be banned. So I guess maybe Dorsey has some First Amendment aim because at least his employees in a survey said they believe that. What do you want President Trump to say to or do to China? I mean, he's, he's buddies with Xi. What do you want him to do? Uh, well, oh, 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 he's buddies with the dictator? Well, he always says he's buddies with my yeah. good friend Xi. Yeah, yeah well, and while he puts hundreds of billions of dollars of tariffs on him, and, and while he sends the fleets there to confront them and their belligerents trying to take over the South China Sea, and while they fired our ships, no, Trump is walking softly carrying a big stick, and he's hoping China understands that we put them in power in 49, that the Rockefellers put them in power, Mao Zedong, and that they're lucky they even exist, because they didn't have any running water you know, there at, at the end of World War II. So if, if we wouldn't have gone there and saved them from the Japanese, they're basically all being exterminated. 
So that's what's going on here is that communist China has been enslaving its own people. And you got the Politburo appointing him as dictator for life. I understand Trump's being nice to him publicly for face saving so that it gives China an out to stop screwing us with a $500 billion trade deficit, $300 billion a year on top of that. Uh, so, so, so we're talking about $800 plus billion uh, in intellectual property being stolen on top of that. This is outrageous and Trump's saying enough. Canada with a 280% tariff on us on dairy. We have no tariff on them. I mean, come on, folks. We have been used and abused by everybody. I love China. I love Canada. I love people that live in Europe. But they can't sit there and take us for granted anymore. And Trump's just being a good American president and standing up for the people. So we've been so trained to hate our own country that we see somebody who's pro-America and we think he's a bad guy. Finally, no, Hollywood's the enemy. Finally, were you, did you request to go to either of these hearings today? Yes, I uh, actually had three or four hearings in 2017 lying about me. I started calling. I started saying to the committees, next time you have them, uh, you know, please have me. I sent letters. No response back from anybody uh, except Matt Gates. I got a message to him uh, through Roger Stone before they had those last hearings six weeks ago in the Judiciary Committee. And I said, listen, you can be a champion of free speech. We're not calling for new regulation. We're calling for the regulation that there's a First Amendment to be enforced. And instead, he went in there and said, you're a private company. Do whatever you want. The next day, they all shadow banned him. Because he told him, go ahead and shadow ban me. Then he went, whoa, I feel violated. I can't even talk to my constituents on Twitter. They went, oh, we're sorry, sir. You said we could. But you, you I mean, this was, is insane. What should be you requested for this hearing. What? You requested for this hearing in the House. Uh, yes, I have, I, have re I have requested the last seven hearings or so. I mean, the first three I watched with my mouth hanging up and hours of them lying about me, just saying outrageous stuff where the Democrat congressmen and women all like, say some terrible thing. You know, like, you heard Alex Jones, you'll kill Jesus, right? They're like, yes, we know, but he can still be on us. I'm like, well, we want him taken down. I mean, it was, it's, uh, I sat there and I watched members of Congress and hearing after hearing say, we want InfoWars off the air. And then you've got Senator Murphy, you've got Senator Warner, you've got uh, all these people, Senator Wyden saying, take Alex Jones completely off the internet and thousands of others. That is so un-American, that is so dangerous, that is so out of control. Wake up, America. Stop living like this. Stop being idiots. Realize you're having your birthright stolen from you right now. This is serious business. What should be done about credit card companies blocking conservatives? Cause, oh, my God. That's totally illegal. That's total civil rights violation of credit card companies blocking conservatives having Visa or MasterCard or being able to sell their books. And the main group, strangely enough, they've been targeting uh, are Jewish groups that are conservative have now been having uh, their credit cards taken away, just like Hitler did to the Jews in the 1930s. First thing Hitler did was take banking and, 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 and commerce from the Jews. Then he put them in ghettos, then he took them off and killed them. And literally, you've got all these conservative Jewish groups having their banking taken away because they support the state of Israel. My God, this country has slipped far. I mean, wow. It's, I mean, Conservative Jews can't even have credit cards now in America. Uh, David Horowitz, uh, uh, Mr. Spen I mean, the list goes on and on. They're literally being depersoned. I, I mean, my God. The left is literally recreating Nazi Germany here in America. Well, the press Thank is you. silent. <laughs> Look it up. We've had them try to take our credit card processors away. They took one away. Saying... Because, oh, well, you can have your own website. No, they're trying to take our website down right now. They're trying to take InfoWars.com down. All right, Jack, you got time to do that interview now, brother? Thank you. Thank you. Our team is always looking for new ways to improve our products. That's why we've created the newest version of a fan favorite formula, the Real Red Pill Plus. The Real Red Pill Plus contains the powerful pregnenolone formula, now with an added energy boost. Now you can support your heart, brain, and aging process with an added natural energy boost. The proprietary energy blend includes powerful ingredients like green tea extract, yerba mate leaf extract, and more. Paired with the powerful ingredients in the original Real Red Pill formula, the Real Red Pill has just what you need to support your body while getting the pick-me-up to get you through the day. The Real Red Pill Plus is a powerful investment into the future of your mind and body. Don't miss out on the all-new upgrade to your favorite product. Head to InfoWarsStore.com and get the Real Red Pill Plus today. Real Red Pill Plus is on sale now while supplies last.